Hey everybody, it is the evening of Thanksgiving 2022 and we are going to be repotting the pineapple and I don't know if you can see down in there we have a couple of pups so we're going to repot the main plant and then we're going to take the pups off and pot them so that they can all grow together. So. Let's get started. So swizzle you around. Make sure that you can see what I'm doing here. All right. <clears throat> I already pre-made the soil. And so that's what's in the handy dandy bucket is the pre-made soil. With um, cactus, or excuse me, with pineapple plants, these are the pots we're going to put them in. The pineapple plants have to have a mixture of cactus soil and regular potting soil. So there you go, cactus soil and potting soil. I did half and half and mixed it all up. So now we are going to get into what does this wonderful plant look like when we take it out of its pot and then we can go from there which hang on I've got everything already sterile I rubbed all of the pots down with rubbing alcohol each one of the pots also has a water catcher thingy -mergy so that it can drain properly there are not a lot of roots coming out of here. There's a couple, but I think those are going to just pull out when I pull out the plant. Okay, and um, so we're going to carefully squeeze this plant to loosen her up and see what we can do. Now, I am recording this repotting a little bit different from the others um, for the pure fact that one it is Thanksgiving so most of you are either watching the football game or eating or hanging out with family traveling so forth so I didn't want to have anybody that was interested in watching and catching this miss it so here we can see these are the roots. We're not going to disturb the roots. And right now she's very moist. I just watered her yesterday. So um, when I get ready to put her into her new pot, I'm not going to loosen this up or anything. I'm just going to set her in and backfill around to the top point. So that will be our next step is to get the new pot that she's going to be in, which will be quite a bit bigger I hope you can here maybe I can zoom you out here here's the bigger pot and the pot that I just got her out of is this one here so as you can see it's quite a bit different I'm hoping that you can see all this I usually do this on a live so okay so we're going to Probably stick her back in her pot for a minute till we get this one filled but at least we got it all nice and loosened up so we'll sit her here and stick her back over here on the table and now what we're going to do is we're going to fill her pot and get it prepped so again half and half cactus mix and uh, potting soil let me make sure you can see that so we're going to put a bit in here uh, I got it on a tray so any of the soil that comes out of the bottom holes will not make a big mess on my counter and my stove so all right Now, this is a significantly bigger pot, like I said, so um, let's see if you can see, I have hollowed out the little hole, yeah, 
that there you go so I made this little dip in here and then kind of pushed all the soil up on the sides so we can stick her in there all right and in the meantime while we're doing that we're also going to pull her pups off which are there's actually a scientific name for these but yeah, the, and but these are her off sprouts and their pups so um, we're gonna stick her in here make sure that that's good and level so that when she's when I backfill her then uh, she'll be all right so they say take these pups and you're supposed to just reach down to where the crown is down here and kind of twist. So that's what we're going to try. Now I've seen some other videos and I've been watching a bunch of videos to make sure I'm going to do this right. And you just twist. And there we go and there is still a little bit of root so that should still survive we're gonna put it in that sterile thing there and we got two more I believe so um, these two are a little bit smaller I don't know if you can see down here see that little bitty one this little sprout yep that's what we're gonna pull off next I'm gonna kind of pull the soil up away from it just a hair so I can actually get my fingers in there to uh oh we got more than two. Oh boy I only planned on three and didn't plan on four so uh kind of reach in there and do a bit of a twist if I can get down in there there you go twist it like a screw with your fingers and Gently tug, and there we still got more roots. That's beautiful. We want to keep as many of the roots because that's what guarantees that the pups will still survive. And um, I'm not sure if you can see these other two. There are actually two there. I did not anticipate that. So, let's see what we can see here. I can pull back just a little bit of the top soil. We're going to try the bigger one first. And kind of grab it and do a little twisty. Twisty. And that one still has a bit of root, so we should be good with that one. And since we got another one here, we're going to do all the pups, and the reason I'm taking the pups off is because they will start to suck more of the nutrients, there we go, and everything from the mother plant, and then she will not be able to produce this beautiful pineapple to full size. It'll take her a lot longer. So now we're just going to double check, make sure we don't have any more pups down here. Just because I don't want to get her in here and then have to fiddle with her anymore. This is supposed to be her forever home now. And it's looking good. Let's see over here. Um, there is actually one more pup down here this little bitty one so I'm gonna see if I can't kind of pull the soil away I hope you can see this and reach down in there and that one doesn't have quite root but we'll still try all right so I mentioned at the beginning of this video now we're going to backfill her so the soil that I loosened up I'm just filling into the groove that's the space between her and her new pot and just kind of push that down in the hole there 
And as you can see, there are a couple of leaves that I have clipped. And that was because um, the leaf here, it was actually browning. It did not have enough um, nutrients. And it was actually waterlogged when I got it. So, uh, pineapple plants are extremely nutrient hungry. Um, what I've learned about the pineapple plant is you have to feed it a lot similar to a uh, banana plant. So now we're just going to kind of dump some soil in there. Push it down into the grooves. Tucky, tucky. Now this is kind of a long video, or it will be a long video, but um, I haven't learned how to fix all of that and speed it up and everything. So if anybody out there is interested and knows how to do all that and wants to do that for me, fantastic. Leave a comment below and uh, we'll make some arrangements. I'm pretty new to this whole YouTube thing and how to work it and everything seems to keep evolving. So uh, I'm more interested in growing plants and showing you what I'm doing than actually learning how to work electronics and different platforms. So uh, like I said, if you're up for it, great. If you're not, that's cool too. It's not going to hurt my feelings. You're just going to have to listen to me ramble on and watch longer videos until I find somebody to do that. So now, as you can see, I'm pulling up as much of these leaves, the bottom leaves, and kind of tucking her in. You don't want to press it down to where it doesn't have any breathing soil. It doesn't need to be compacted. You just need to tuck it in so that she doesn't shift and become sideways. So that is what we're doing. We're just securing her in her home, in her new pot here. I am only filling the soil to where it has already been. I'm not piling it up over top of her core. That is not a good thing. You do not want to do that with almost any plant. There are a couple of plants that will uphold you backfilling and filling up more of their stem. This is not one of them. So, and I'm doing this with my hands because it's so much easier than trying to do it with a spoon or a shovel or anything else. That way I can tuck it properly, get her nice and snug in here comfortably. Oh, another thing with a pineapple plant. Pineapple plants like their um, like to have a very well draining soil, but they also do not like their feet wet, which are their roots. Um, almost any plant that you find. They don't like to be in sitting in water. They don't like their feet wet, and then you get root rot. So, here's the first one. And now, how you water a pineapple plant is you can water a little bit of the soil, but most of the watering comes from the top. As you see, all of these leaves have this little cup shape. And so you water it from the top and the water goes into the core and feeds the entire plant. Again, they are very hungry plants, so you do have to give them some fertilizer. Um, that's kind of one of the most important things to do with them. Here is our first little tray. So now that she's in that pot nicely, we're going to put her on her tray. Ta -da. I don't know if you can see this. I hope you can. And she'll be nice and happy. And we're going to stick her over here on the table. While we do the other pups. So there's some soil here. Let's tuck it in here. And get started on the next pot. So 
now that we've assessed that part, we have two more pots that I have sterile. And we have four pups. Oh, we have five pups, excuse me. So we're going to put the pups in this one, and then I'll sterilize the other pot that she originally came in. And um, I'll put a couple in there. And then the biggest pup I'm going to put in this one. So it's got plenty of time and room to grow, this guy here. And um, we'll see how that works. So we're going to stick all of these in there. This is our pup. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean off a little bit of this feet area to give it plenty of root. Because as you see, um, hang on, let me see if I can show you. Um, on the pineapple pups, uh, it's not going to focus. There we go. You see those little brown bumps? Those are actually roots. There we go. Those brown bumps our roots so since we took her out of here we're just gonna pull a couple of these bottom leaves off to expose more of the roots that are already forming nice and gentle here um, this will go right there for now and I think we're gonna take this one here off and that should be good now they say you can take quite a bit of root off, uh, quite a bit of this off. I'm not going to do that much. I don't think that that's necessary, but I do want to give it enough root to actually take root well and continue to grow. They say that your pups of the uh, pineapple plant will actually grow faster than the mother plant. So, we are going to see. So now we're going to use the same mixture and fill this pot. Try not to make too much of a mess. And then I'm just going to tuck it in this soil. And then once we get them all in the pots, then we will go ahead and we will give them a good watering and stick them in the sun. And that's the other thing. Um, pineapple plants love sun. You got to watch their leaves so you don't, you know, you don't water them in the middle of the afternoon where you got the hottest sun around and everything. Because you really don't want them to get sunburned. And yes, they can sunburn. But, uh, and then we're just going to make a little hole right here in the center. And tuck it down. Pull that soil up around it. I'm going to kind of push it a little. to Kind of compact that soil. So it stands up. And there is our new pup. So we're going to do that again with the other pots. So let's pull these guys here. Stick you in your pot. Stick you over here. <coughs> now I did not plan on having that many pups. Um, to my visible eye there was only three that I see. We're going to see what we can see here. Uh, I think we're going to stick them right here in this little tray. And see, this one is one of the bigger ones. And then this one. Okay, this one's got more green on it. So it's going to be a little bit older. And it does actually have a little bit better roots. So let's carefully peel off these moist leaves very gentle this little brown one there that one is one that was too moist so 
we're just gonna peel them back and in a minute I will show you the potential roots on this little guy all right I think we're gonna go back a little bit more you want to leave some leaves so that it has enough leaves to photosynthesize and get a lot of the nutrients from the sun that one was a little tough so that'll be the last one there um, and enough let's see come on and focus here there we go can you see the little nubs those are its little roots all right let's do this other one that's pretty decent size so that we got two of them ready and then I think I'm gonna put those other two little ones in this other pot that it originally came from there we go and this is just um, this one doesn't have too many roots to it that I can see. But again, these were a little bit smaller. There's really not <coughs> much roots on that. So we're just going to hope that this works for these guys. <coughs> and go from there. I'm going to take all these dead leaves. Stick them over here on the counter. And we'll put them in the compost. And the worms will enjoy them. Now, I'm not an expert at this. This is the very first pineapple plant I've ever had. Those of you who know me know that I'm obsessed with learning. So I do a lot of research and watching others that have had success. And watching the mistakes to learn from them to make sure I'm not repeating someone else's mistake. And we might have to mix some more soil. Unless I just tuck them all in this pot, which I actually might do. I don't have a lot of room right now due to it's fall slash winter here in eastern Tennessee. So, I've got most of my plants already in the house for winter. Because a lot of them are succulent, succulents or don't like a lot of coldness, can't handle the cold, what have you. So we're going to actually top this bad boy all the way with the leftover soil. Cha -cha -cha. Make sure I'm not making a complete mess. I think I'm going to put all four of them babies in here and we can always repot them come summer and spring when I have more potting space because I'm running out of space for pots. So let's go ahead and clean these last two pups up a hair and then we'll stick them all in there and then I'm going to give them a good watering. Now, they did have water yesterday. I did water them yesterday. So, here we go. That looks like a root. I think we're going to leave that one at that. See if you can see. There's a root. So, that one looks good. And then the wee baby, that's our surprise. I did not even see it, let alone know it was there until I pulled her out. So, yeah, let's clean her up. Oh, she's got some roots too. Fantastic. So we're going to pull these last two leaves off here. Remember, I'm trying to leave some of the top leaves so that we don't 
kill it and it doesn't have anything to photosynthesize. And here, you can see the little nubs on there. So these also have potential roots, which is fantastic. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to kind of, I should have used that spoon. But we're just going to kind of move some soil around, poke some holes in here, and stick these guys in there. I think this one will go good there. I'm not burying them deep. I'm just kind of tucking them in there and pushing the soil down around them. So they're kind of stable, so they don't shift when they get watered. We'll put this little guy here, right, like so. And we got one more we're going to stick in here, and kind of stick the soil down. So let's see if I can show you now. Here, let's take you off of the stand a second and bring you in for a close-up. You can see that I did not bury the entire root and there's still quite a bit of the plant sticking out. So that's a good thing. Here, we'll show you this guy too. You can see here that we did not bury him fully under the root. He's still got plenty of space. All right. So that's what we're doing. All right. So now what we're going to do is... Second. Now what I got to do is I have to mix up some soil or some water and water them but since I watered them yesterday we're just going to give them a sprinkle of water out of the faucet so here in the home we have a handy dandy little water I'm just going to put some lukewarm water because you don't want to freeze them and I just had the hot water running there you go. All right, now let's turn you loop and stick you, oh, here you are. There we go. Here's this one's little tray too. So we're gonna put them in their trays. We're gonna remove this tin so you can see all three of them. One, two, and, oh, hang on. There we go. Are those in, yep, those are in the screen. And then here's the big mama. And she is not quite in the screen. But there she is. So, we're going to put her on the side for a minute and just water the first two. And we'll do the others next. So, here we go. Just give it a drizzle of water. That's going to set all of the soil. And they aren't on stakes, so as you just seen, one shifted. So we're just doing a little tucky-tucky with the wet soil so that they're more stable, and that's good. And again, I'm not going to saturate this soil. I'm going to let it be for a couple of days, and then I'll um, water them and see how they go. And I just watered the soil, not the tops today, because it's already evening time, and I don't want them to drown in, during this evening until morning. So here's the other little guy. She looks a little bit crooked, so I think I better kind of move this soil a bit so she's not so crooked. And now we're just giving her a quick watery, watery. Whoops. And yes, she definitely needed more wet soil to hold her up. So you see, I'm just pushing the wet soil 
down closer to her root without burying any of her leaves. We'll go in on that. See, I did not bury her leaves. So, there you go. Now we'll scoot these two out of the way a second. We'll water the big mommy plant. And that one I'll probably have to pull you back here a bit. So you can see her fully. Again, she's already been watered. So, you know, we're not going to water her much. Now, because this is the mother plant and she's doing really well, I'm going to show you on her how to water a, a bigger one that's already established with a root from the top. So, you just take your water and kind of trickle, trickle. I'm going to get water all over the sink. Yay me. And just kind of water it from the top. And then I am going to give her a drizzle down here on the new soil just to make sure she's completely tucked in. And this is a bigger pot, so we want to make sure she's got plenty of water and tucked in nicely. So there you go. That is how I repot our lovely pineapples. And you can see here the water on the leaves. Give me a second and I will see if we can zoom in on any of the pockets. See, there you go. Down in there, there's standing water. You can see it glistening. And that's what you want to do. You want to water it from the top. Um, yesterday I watered all of her from here down in the sink so that I didn't make the big mess all over the floor all over the counter but there you have it that is how I have learned to rewater and pot a pineapple tree and of course the pups thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you feel like this was uh, informational for you and you enjoyed it leave comments if you have any comments questions suggestions ideas and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Until then, ciao now.